Greetings to everyone who is joining us on the 2020 challenge. Welcome to our challenge. It's an exciting time. It is the last video before we start on Monday, which is this coming Monday. So uh, it's going to be a video full of great information for you. And we're going to take away some of the confusion that might be existing out there about the 2020 challenge. It's amazing. Only a week ago, we were worried about the fires and we were concerned about all the damage it was doing today. We've had rain all day and Pete even got a glimpse of the rainfall. It was a bliss leaping to the sound of rain outside. Absolutely beautiful. It's lovely. Absolutely beautiful. It's wonderful to have the rain. It's such a blessing. I just want to recover some of the Facebook and YouTube bits and pieces. Just be aware that all the communications for this 2020 challenge is actually going to come via Facebook, YouTube, and email, and there will be some Instagram things as well, but they will be the main channels. So the first thing that you need to do, otherwise you're just going to simply miss out on all the things that are happening, is the Facebook group. Now, below on the video, you can see a link to the Facebook page. When you get to this Facebook page, there is a post there that is called 2020 Challenge January. That's this month's post. What you need to do is you need to click the like button. Unless you click the like button on that post, you won't see any of the conversations that are happening while we're going through this challenge. So you need to make sure that you've clicked that like button. Also, all of our videos are on YouTube, just like this one is. So it would be really good for you to actually go in there and click the subscribe button. And then once you've clicked the subscribe button, make sure you click the bell button. And that way you'll get notified as soon as we upload a new video, you'll get a sneak peek. So our starting date, I hope we all um, are aware, is this coming Monday, which is Monday the 20th of January. That's correct. So that's the start date. The start date, and there's a little bit of confusion about this already, like when do we start? Officially, we start from Sunday midnight. That is the start time and date. That's when Monday clocks around officially. So that's when we're starting the challenge. So your last supper is Sunday. That's exactly right. I also want to talk about some of the foods. There's been a little bit of confusion about the foods. I've already had some very interesting questions posed about what do we eat? What do we not eat? So what I've decided to do is I've decided to get a few bits and pieces together. I'm just going to quickly talk about it. Joanne will comment as well. So the first question that was asked of me, can we eat tinned food? Keep in mind that the challenge is very, very simple. It, the, the simpler you make this, the easier it's going to be for you. We eat absolutely everything that people used to eat before they built the first food factory. That is the challenge. It's a very simple concept. So let's have a look at some of the things that have been asked. Tinned food. So I've got a very interesting one here. Four bean mix. Looks quite healthy, right? Now on the back, it has legumes, uh, butter beans, chickpeas, red kidney beans, small red variety, uh, baby lime beans, water, surprise, surprise, sugar. Do I stop there or do I keep going? I might as well keep going. Salt, food acid, firming agent. So we basically don't want to confuse anybody. Um, what you do normally is, is different to this week. It's just one week. So we're thinking of purely just sticking to fruit and veg, giving you whole system, your, your digestive system, bit of a break. There is a, a can here that Pete's holding at the moment. So this product has only got organic lentils and water, so it would normally be totally perfectly fine to have. So the challenge is we eat absolutely everything that we used to eat before they built the first, first food factory. So whilst this is normally okay, for the next week, I'm actually putting this one aside. So here's an interesting one. Nobby's nuts, very common 
nuts it has in it ingredients peanuts vegetable oil and that's where we can stop already vegetable oil is off the agenda and salt uh, iodized salt obviously so that is not something that we would have as this has come straight out of a factory i want to show you another one this one's peak and hearts the ingredients joe 100 percent peak and normally we would eat this but for the next week because it is still packaged and comes out of a factory what are we doing with it i won't be having it neither will i so that's the challenge and then of course along those lines there's other products that we use in this household coconut sugar is a is a common one for us however it's packaged up and where does it come from not the soil no it comes from a factory so for the next week we're putting this one aside and of course things like wholemeal spout flour same sort of thing so you get the picture think about it this way the challenge is we eat absolutely everything that we used to eat before they built the first food factory i had a very interesting question come through and the question was if i have food at home that was grown and I make a recipe with it, is that okay? I can't see why not, if it was all just made of natural foods and that's what we're hoping that you'll share your recipe with us. That's where it gets exciting. That's exactly right. Think about it this way. If you're going to do a period of juicing, then there are recipe juices. Mm. You're actually mixing different things together. If you are taking things that we used to eat before they built the first food factory and you mix them together to make a recipe, then that's absolutely fine. So I hope that that explains in a simple way as to what the challenge is. It is really, really simple. Exclude everything that comes out of a factory. So it's a little bit like clean eating, but we're, we're staying away even from nuts and beans just for that one week, just to totally take it back and... Uh, and just let our digestive system have a rest and i think we'll be very surprised with the results mm, that's exactly right so the big question joe is what are you doing i'm looking forward to doing just a water fast on the monday so i'll have my lemon water in the morning and i will be having some herbal teas during the day with that as well but nothing added no sugar no honey no milk just herbal teas loose and leaf of course Yes, and water, just water for the first day. And then second day and the rest of the week, I am I will be just having a fruit salad or combination of fruit in the morning, then big salad for lunch and a juice in the evening. Fantastic. Homemade juice, of course, with majority of veggies. How about you, Pete? For me, what I'm going to be doing is I will be doing a straight water fast on Monday. So no food at all, just straight water. Now I've been thinking about it because whilst I've done just a water fast for a day before, I haven't actually gone any longer. So I'm thinking maybe when I get up on Tuesday, I'll see how I feel and I'll make a decision on Tuesday. But on Tuesday will either be a another water fasting day depending on what I feel like or I will be juicing and what I'm planning to do is to juice for uh, two or three days maybe so then I'll convert to having a juice in the morning a salad at lunch and steamed veggies in the evening that's what my approach will be hmm. be interesting hmm. we're all doing our own thing now keep in mind that I will be posting things in that Facebook post that we asked you to like. And what we would like you to do is actually post up there what you've decided to do. And then as we're doing it, as a group, we want comments there and want to know how you're going and what you're experiencing. Jo both Joe and I will be posting our bits and pieces. We need you to post yours as well to make it interesting. So I guess the question is now, what will you do? Mm. Um, we're looking forward to hearing back from you um, and just post, throw a photo up or or just tell us yourself what you're doing um, by typing it 
on in the comments and yeah we look forward to to seeing what your journey is going to be like absolutely and we need to be doing this together so we need to be having that communication happening mm. and on that note i would like to encourage you we're stepping into something that's a little bit different it's a little bit special uh, you have got that group support happening behind you don't forget that you can invite your family members your friends your work colleagues is that video on the page below if you look at the drop down box on inviting people it explains it all there get others involved but i just want to give you a little bit of motivation so that as you step out on monday you step out with a little bit of excitement about what you're doing you know if you're stuck about what should i do just go with the basics do a juice in the morning for example or fruit have a salad at lunch and just straight steamed veggies at night you can't get simpler than that now there'll be different variations of that have a think about what you want to do also maybe do a little journal of how you feel and your weight and your measurements if you want to go that way we don't want to be obsessed about weights um, this time around it, it's different to juicing and how we normally document all your progress as far as your weights and your blood levels and all that at this stage we just want to so it's totally individual up to you how you want to do it but you can record your weight at the end and at the beginning of the week and, and compare the difference and share that with the group or you can just totally go by hey my my clothes are feeling better more comfortable um, or you might just be sleeping better whatever the feedback um, it's up to you but I'll probably be recording my um, my weight and, and just um, a couple of the measurements and, and recording how I feel and all that and share it with the rest of you. Great fantastic so if you have any questions please post them in the Facebook post we'll be monitoring that if you've got any issues any problems Again, let us know through the Facebook post. We'll be monitoring that daily and we'll be answering any of your questions. And uh, on that note, I just want to um, give you encouragement to step out and really go for it. All the best. All the best and we'll see you on the challenge.